I'm not going to bore you with the details, but um, this is how I cut the angle iron. So if you look at the angle iron, what you'll see is, this is the angle iron. I need this piece right here, so I'm cutting right there vertically. I'm right in that band saw. I'm going to make is along that chalk line that I drew right there, the chalk line. So I'm going to cut this way first, then I'm going to cut that way, and then I'll have my little mount for the camera. So, like I said, I'm not going to show you every bit of it because it's just a bandsaw cutting a piece of metal. Okay, so uh, what we have here is the piece of metal, and I cut up this way. Then I cut across that way, and here's what I need. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, you'll see this mount here. I beveled all these edges. I have to do the same to this in order to get it to fit into the tripod. So I'm going to take it over to my grinder, and... Uh, I'll get started over there. Now I recommend that you use something to hold your metal. One, it's going to get hot, and two, the grinder is probably one of the most dangerous tools in the shop. You want to make sure you wear gloves, hearing, and eye protection. So here, I have a pair of vice grips, and I'm just going to put about a 45 degree angle on four sides. And here's how you do it. On the grinder. Go back and forth. You try to use the rest because if you do it in the air, you can't do it with any accuracy. So don't take long. Go back and forth. And you can see right there that I'm already getting a beveled edge. So once again, I'm not going to bore you by showing you the whole grind. Now, one thing you will notice is that as you grind back and forth, you want to make sure that this is consistent, this edge. And if you look right here, you can see the metal. The metal's right there. That metal, you can see that line is thicker over here and thinner over there, so I need to grind over here. And you just basically want to get it till it meets the bottom edge. So just keep grinding. 